Paul Thron from the mountains, how was your hike? Fantastic. You know, I was in the amphitheater in the yeah. Drakensberg. It's fantastic there. It was snowing. It looked like I was in Switzerland. Was awesome. it cold? I'm sure it was very cold. No, it got warmer as it went along. Okay. It was fantastic. Uh, but I'm happy to be back. <laughs> we can talk about the markets. What yeah, fun. Markets. Okay, so <laughs> Nuro Rubini says that we could see more stimulus by the end of the year. I also know that a lot of banks, US banks, are actually gearing themselves up for a liquidity squeeze so they won't be able mm. to tap in these extra funds and they're starting to shore up cash. Well, I think that's the main reason why the market had such a rough week last week and it's looking rather ropey. Then you get the bearish guys like Nouriel out talking again about how there could be a perfect storm in 2013, but apparently he's only attaching a 30% likelihood to that. So it's him again doing his usual thing. And you know how it works. They wheel these guys out when the market's good. Uh, then they wheel other guys in when the market's bad. So I'm not paying any attention to it. You know, the drama continues, the normal ebb and flow. Were you paying attention to it during the downtime, during the bad times, Paul? Uh, when? Which bad times? Uh, Last week? 2008, 2009. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, market you know, low on the JSC. This no, stuff, it's all just bell? comes and goes, you know. Okay. Give me a dart, sir. We're running dart. out of time. Yes, please. Go Very for quickly. it. Okay. Okay, we're landing here next to Ned Bank. I mean, we haven't talked about that one for a while. <laughs> I don't like the big banks and I particularly don't like that one, so no. No. And MassMart, <laughs> I see you've got a jot oh down Oh yes, here. MassMart. Well, I want people to pay attention to this one because it's trading at 130 Rand again, but it's gone X the scheme. Yeah. So in other words, now you've got 50% of your shares. So I think the really interesting question is, does one buy them? You know what I'm also finding very interesting is that I asked uh, you this sports, and you said no. Well, I think you could go back to them. Sorry, I kind of missed what you were saying there. But I think the other one to look at is the, the new sports thing that's coming, the sportsman warehouse thing. Exactly. This the whole sports or whatever to, it is. Uh, exactly. I think that could be very interesting. Very interesting category. Some interesting growth there. We're looking at the pricing. Planning to listen on the JSC soon. Thank you, Paul. Good. Short and very sweet. Thank you very much.